Hey there! Welcome to the Dewey Draw Some More video series, where we mash together the Dewey Decimal System and your favorite fandoms to create hand-drawn masterpieces in a matter of minutes. Two rolls of the dice will determine the day's combination, and then our artists will get right to work putting pencil to paper. Are you ready? Let's see what the future has in store for us. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode three, uh, three of the Do We Draw Some More series. I'm here with, with Mr. Matt from LaSalle. Oh, by the way, I'm Mr. Hello. Chad from Western. And, and also, although you can't see her face right now, I don't know, I guess she could turn her camera on real quick. Amy? Ah, oh, there's Amy. Yeah, Amy's joining us to, to help us in the background. Keeps us in the dark, helps us to be more creative. So, um, I guess if you've watched the other episodes, uh, you've, you've seen what we do. So I guess we will get right to the rolling. Um, I forgot to bring my dice today because I needed them for D&D &D at home and I left them at home. So um, Matt's just going to have to roll twice today. Get it back up. Okay. 360. Woo! Do a little, do a little spin. I mean, you could because you're in a you're in a rolly chair. My chair does not spin. I don't have much room to spin here. I'm gonna bang my knees into either a wall or well, a desk. I, well, I mean, it's okay. You managed to do a 360. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Amy. Oh, um, let's see. That's oh okay. Social services and problems. All right. Well, let's roll to see what we get for another Pokemon. Four sixty one. <laughs> weevil. A weevil. But but a but a weevile. That's W E A V I L E. Not not just weevil. So all right, um Okay. I I moved again. <laughs> so so my phone battery, uh, my, my phone was low and apparently it wasn't plugged in. So now oh my drawing pad is above me here. So I'm going to let you explain what comes to mind for you first. Oh, uh, well, first off, a weevil is a bug. It just is. It is. Um, but that's not as much fun. So I'm thinking like we buy a little things. So kind of like an imp. Ooh, ooh, like, yeah, we and like tiny and vile. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I can end. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick out the word weave, like, uh, because we were working on a, on a, um, a tapestry here at the Western Branch for a while. So I've still nice. got yarn on the brain. Um, so I'm going to do some sort of multi limbed thing that likes to weave comfy blankets for people. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I think it gets a bad rap because it has the word vile in its name. But uh but you know, some sometimes you get stuck with a with a bad name. It it happens. Um so yeah, let's get some let's get some limbs going here. Uh, hopefully the kids are all doing well with going back to school via e learning. Um we can certainly hope. We've got a few who come in. To work on their classes and stuff here but yeah yeah we've we've been trying to help where we can trying to get people directed in the right way um they, they came and dropped off some some like picnic tables outside so people can spread out and work on their schoolwork, which is nice yeah we got uh one out under a tree and then we've got one um just right out front by the bike rack nice was trying to avoid making it a bug. Ah, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll scratch that little bug head there. I mean, you can make it a bug. I know, but... That's I'll, something that weaves. That's very much bugs. This is true. Maybe, maybe it doesn't have hands at all. Maybe it just goes right to just having appendages that look like little, little knitting needles. 
That sounds much cuter than what I'm doing. <laughs> well, what you got going on there? Ooh. Yeah, your your imp looks quite vile indeed. There's some some very uh it looks like it's up to mischief and, and no good and such. So how does your weavile relate to social problems and services? Oops. <laughs> okay, got you gotta think of a story here real quick. Yeah, um I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> oh, sorry, Amy has been feeding us some some book suggestions here. Uh The Third Wave, a volunteer story by Allison Thompson. Um, and also another one called Be a Change Maker, How to Start Something That Matters. Um, that one's by Lori Ann Thompson. Um, sounds, sounds pretty cool. I don't know how many of you out there have, have tried to like take part in making social change. Um, anybody can help. It's really, some, if there's something you're passionate about, share it with other people. Um, you'd be amazed at how much just that simple action can do for the world. It's usually when you're young, you've got quite a lot of energy. Um, and it's, it's good to be able to put that energy to, to good use, trying to make positive change. So you, if you're watching, um, you might want to take a look at some of those books. Oh, so is your weave, well, let's see. Is your weave island construction? Uh, more of deconstruction. <laughs> weave hole falls more on the uh, problem side of this. <laughs> so you don't, you don't want a weave vial. They, they find your, you know, social projects, social services, and just dismantle them. Oh, goodness. Yeah, mallets, okay. hooks. Um, made one arm a wrench, just, just so they can better get in there and just <laughs> tear it up. So, uh, so Matt, tell me a little bit more about your weavile. I think we've we've probably gone long enough here that we should probably stop and stop and talk about them. Yeah. So, my weevil is on the bad side of the social services and problems. The initially it was just going to have two arms, but then grew more for more destruction. Oh. So, yeah, it has a hook arm, a weird, overly long. Too many knuckles, you know, normal hand, a wrench hand, and a mallet hand, just just so it can, you know, mess things up. Go wow. go the whole gremlin route, you know, <laughs> take things apart, make them so they'll fail. Yeah, that is that that is quite the uh, quite the number of appendages there. That is that is a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah, destructive, but but oh, beautiful. Yeah. But beautiful. Yeah, someone should try and reform one of those. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I mean, if, they've got if all you, the tools. They'd be if great. If you could change its attitude, it'd be a really constructive little critter. Yeah. So, um, so mine just makes soft, cuddly things. 
because uh, my Weavile, uh, you know, the name Weavile, people automatically think there's something bad about it. But, but no, there's just this little dude that likes to hang up in the trees. It's got these sharp pointy limbs that people are probably like, ah, it's going to poke me with. But no, it just likes to poke the, the yarn that it, that it spits out and, and weave them into blankets and scarves and maybe socks. I mean, maybe you're lost in the woods and your feet are cold and you come across a weave aisle and it throws some socks at you. And you're like, yay, maybe, thanks maybe. for some socks. I think your, your interpretation there is, is pretty accurate uh, from the looks of it. Weave aisle looks kind of like a little ninja looking dude. Um, got some pretty nasty looking claws. Uh, this cool little plumage up top. Oh, yeah. He is a he is a dark ice type Pokemon that's introduced in Generation Four. Uh, does it give the uh, name origin? I know some of them do that. Let's see here. Oh, it, a Weavile is a bipedal weasel like Pokemon. Uh, so it's okay. weasel, but with a vial mixed in there. So Weavile. Okay. Take it. All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone who, who's watching or stopping to watch our video. We really appreciate it. This is tons of fun for us. Um, as usual, we would love to see your interpretations. So if you want to, if you want to sit down and do your own drawings, please post them in the in the comments down below. We would love to see them and love you to share them with with other people. All right. But uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and we will see you later. See ya.